If we really look at the viruses that are most dangerous, they evolved on industrial poultry farms. We, we really can say this with, with great specificity. Most of the viruses that are on the CDC's watch list of viruses of special concern, most of them evolved on poultry farms. So we know where these things come from, by and large. They're also going to come out of wildlife contexts, especially when we're you know, disrupting the environment, eating animals that haven't eaten before. That does exacerbate the risk. But even that is related to industrial farming. That is, the creation of wet markets is in part the result of displacement caused by industrial farming in the first place. So really, in the end, no. Uh, stopping the wildlife trade is not going to really uh, reduce our risk for pandemics the way we need to if we want to you know, not see another one in our lifetime. So I understand why people react to it strongly, but in terms of the kinds of pandemics we're monitoring, it could be magnitudes worse than this. You know, so we're dealing with a two to three uh, percent death rate, depending on you know, where, we're, where we're looking at, and we'll see what it ends up. But with bird flu, with, with H5N1, the current death rate that the CDC reports is 60 percent. So we're dealing with something 30 times as deadly. You know, basically think about everyone you know who had the flu last year, uh, and imagine half of them are dying right now. Yeah, that really makes our current pandemic look pretty mild, and that's the best way to look at it if we really want to understand what the risk is. And you know, I need to be clear, this isn't an attempt to kind of inflate uh, the alarm. This is just an incredibly frightening situation. One of the unique experiences I've had with pandemic risk is usually if I go and speak to the scientists about some of the problems we have being generated from animal ag, they're often more sober, they're often more cautious, but when I've discussed pandemic risk, my experience is exactly the opposite. The folks who are closer to this, the virologists, are the ones sounding the alarm most loudly. Uh, and that tells me, you know, this is, this is something, you know, we were kind of overdue for. And if we don't address where these viruses are coming from, it seems clear there's going to be more.